Okay, uh, so we are here with Margaret Fisher, one of the artists in the Alternative Focus show in the Davis Gallery. And so I noticed that you have three different kinds of alternative processes in the three pieces that you have in the show. So if you could just kind of explain what each one of those is, that would be great. Okay, um, one of them is the Zyotype, which is an alternative process and it's kind of a purplish color, purplish brown. Um, I took a class actually where I did like maybe five different alternative processes and this was one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. Then there's the cyanotype, which is a well-known alternative process, which is a blue tint. And that's just um, using two chemicals and then doing a water wash, which is probably the easiest alternative process. And then there's a the Van Dyke, which uses silver nitrate, and it gives it kind of like a brown, sepia look to it. So, yeah. Okay, great. And that Van Dyke photo, is that more than one exposure, or that's just the right um, thing? Yeah, those are actually, I photoshopped those two photos together. Mm -hmm. I took them both on uh, 35 millimeter cameras and scanned them, mm -hmm. and I put it together in Photoshop and printed the negative. Maybe Very cool. Um, so how long have you been working in photography? Is this something recent or have you been working on it for a while? Um, past two and a half years, I'd say. I got really into analog photography and I've taken quite a few classes at Art Institute of Boston. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And so are you are you more interested in analog photography than digital photography? Or? Definitely, yeah. Um, I haven't actually worked with digital much. So. Mm -hmm. And why, why is that? What about it do you find? Um, I was really interested in the process of analog photography mm -hmm. once I learned about it. I kind of thought of it as more genuine than digital because I guess it's just like the way the photo is actually created through the chemicals instead of just like a digital pixelated image. Mm -hmm. Um, is there is there any common theme to the subjects of your artwork or themes that you're interested in kind of trying to portray through photography or are you trying different things? Um, well, they're all my friends and they're mm -hmm. all portraits and they all kind of have like a feminist feel to them. Mm -hmm. They're all like teenage girls so it's kind of youthful and feminist which is I guess what I'm kind of going for right now. Okay, great. Uh, have you been exhibiting your work? Um, frequently, or is this a uh, new show? Or? Um, actually, I was told about this by my photo teacher mm -hmm. at my high school, and besides that, I've just done shows that are at my high school and sure. at Art Institute of Boston where I took classes. So this is pretty much my first show that's like not connected to a program I've done. Oh, congratulations, that's great. Thanks. It's mean, uh, a good thing. A lot of people it takes a, usually it takes a lot of work for people to you know get themselves ready to put their stuff out there. So yeah, that's a really good thing that you're you know, wanting to do it now. So it's a good sign. All right. Well, thank you so much for for talking to me and uh, thank you.